Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, so again, sorry about last video. I did a lot, something's wrong. It took some while, you know, to get get going. But this video, we're gonna, gonna do it a little bit faster. At least I hope so. So we now now we uh, made a gun that fires uh, spheres or bullets. Uh, so now we need to create something to shoot at. So just create a health script and open that one up. So, oh, okay. And then we need, again I don't think we need to start function, but for health. Um, how is it gonna be equal to 100? I think that seems the most logic thing to me. Um, so for now, nothing is multiplayer yet, but of course we'll do that later. I always like to have you know some basic source code, and then turn that into multiplayer. It's a little bit easier to test and work with. So what do we want to do? Is we wanna change the update function into a on trigger enter and basically what this does is um, when an object hits the collider this will activate a trigger and we basically are going to use this trigger to identify it whenever we get hit so I tapped, if you can see I typed in hit.collision and basically the thing that hit us uh, just so what caused the collision that will be assigned as the variable hit. Um, anyway, so what I want to do is we want to go with game object dot hit, so the game object hit hit is the collider of, and we need the game object, so Game object dot hit dot tag equals um bullet I think that will would be the best choice. Um then we'll just want to um, then we're gonna extract the amount of damage from our bullets so var damage int equals um, what's a good number for damage 25 I think that's maybe maybe it's a little bit too low for shots. Nah, I think four shots is, is a good amount. If you want something else, of course, you can always change it. So, game object dot hit. Game object dot hit. Dot. Um. I'm thinking. Oh, I'm gonna do this. You know, just go with. I'm gonna create a variable here that calls damage to um, damage and um, and then we are gonna so game object dot hit um, dot damage no dot bullet dot damage equal um this equals damage hmm. hope this will work 
other terms were screwed. Um, it's not a member, and it's the other way around. It's dot game object. Fairly simple, and then of course, if we did it wrong there, then we did it wrong here either. So it's bullets, not a member. Okay, then we gotta temporarily store it for. So now we're gonna change this into this. We wanna do this away. And then um and then take damage. Take damage, and then we're gonna create a function. Damage. Yes, this is correct. Um, then we want bullets to dot bullets. No, this is not gonna work. No, I think so. I'm pretty sure this is not gonna work because the system doesn't. Work. We'll have to use get components. Yep. Um, so far, um, bullet script, bullet equals bullet. Dot get gum bones a bullet. Smash it, parameters has to be type collider. Okay. Okay, fine with me. Um So be sure to change that. Bullet scripts dot damage. And this is correct. This has to work. If this doesn't work, I don't know. Then I'm just really screwed. The appears to be working. It doesn't give an error. So what we do need to now is we gotta create an update function. Update. Oh yeah, and of course, health minus equals 
damage. But then if held is less than zero, we die. So die. And then we gotta create a function that calls die function. Um, debug dot log. I die. No, I'm dead. Better, I'm dead. Um, and then of course we gotta do destroy object but we don't need the capital G and then a silicon at the end okay so let's test that uh, we're gonna add our cube. This is gonna be evil, Mr. Evil Cubey. He's very evil. He wanted to take over the world, so we have to kill him. Um, just rename this one to Floor, so there won't be any misunderstandings. And this is gonna call Evil, or no, just Doctor Cube. This is Doctor Cube. Um, now we need to change this box button to Trigger. And this held to dead. Then I need to add a blitz, add tag, and I thought that we just used bullets. And let's see what happens. Yay. Um, if you can see there is a penetration of the bullet, we don't want that. So... You know, we don't want bullets traveling around everything. But we'll... I want, I want to do something that, you know, you can... The bullet goes through somebody or something through a wall or, or, or doesn't really matter. It's you know if if you go through a person it will only remain like half the damage and if you go through a wall it will only get ten percent of the damage or something. So you know that was it for this tutorial. Um hope you like it. You know, we'll go more in-depth about all this stuff, but for now, you know, this was it. Uh, just subscribe, and next video we'll be doing, I think, the beginning of multiplayer. So, see you next time. Bye.